Hello, welcome to this video where we'll be taking a quick look at a port of the classic Dune game onto the EFR32 MG24 connected microcontroller from Silicon Labs. This video shows the port in action and the hardware platform. If you want to dive into the details, you'll find them in technical blog posts over on the Silicon Labs community, and there is a link in the video description. The full game is available and runs at around 32 frames per second at a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. This is an upgrade on the original Doom, which ran at a resolution of 320 by 200 pixels. The port runs at 35 frames per second at the original resolution. The baseboard includes a small speaker for audio output, but you can also connect amplified speakers using a 3.5mm jack for stereo sound output. The port also supports up to four players in multiplayer mode using the Bluetooth capabilities of the EFR32 MG24. The final result is a portable handheld version of both single and multiplayer Doom powered by a battery and charged from USB-C. The hard work to port the software and create the hardware platform was done as a personal project by Nikola Rakian, a solutions architect here at Silicon Labs. The main kit is formed from a baseboard with control buttons, a mini speaker, power switch and 3.5mm jack socket for stereo audio output. The wireless microcontroller, which runs the game, is provided on a SparkFun MGM240P Thing Plus board. The module on this board includes the EFR32 MG24 wireless microcontroller. The SparkFun board is simply slotted into header sockets on the base board. The SparkFun board also has a connector for a LiPo battery and a charging circuit via the onboard USB-C port. The screen is a 2 inch 320 by 240 pixel IPS display from Adafruit. It also features a micro SD slot which is initially used to hold the large WAD files that form the game levels. These are transferred into two SPI flash chips. Accessing the data during play over SPI is much faster than accessing data directly from the SD card. Two SPI flash memory chips are used to almost double the throughput and so enhance the performance of the port. Just like the SparkFun board, the Adafruit screen just slots into the baseboard with a couple of standoffs used to support the other side. Once the components are assembled, you have a portable version of multiplayer Doom. If you already own a WSDK board from Silicon Labs, you could build an Atom board with buttons and a screen to add to your existing kit. For the software, the basic requirements were the full game should run without limitation. No changes to the graphic engine are allowed. The texture sprite quality, sound propagation and enemy AI are all unchanged. Sound effects should be at the original sample rate of 11,025 Hz with a depth of 8 bits. There is a single sample in the game at 22,050 Hz for item respawns in multiplayer. An exception was made for this one sample, but normal single player games are unaffected. And finally, no external devices should be used to offload the MCU workload. In addition to these basic requirements, Nicola added some ambitious extra goals. The game should run at 35 frames per second at the original 320 by 200 resolution and at least 30 frames per second at the 320 by 240 resolution. This goal represents a 20% increase over the original game and at the higher resolution, the goal was exceeded, reaching around 32 frames per second. 
Up to four players should be supported in multiplayer Doom, just like the original, but using Bluetooth as the protocol instead of over a LAN. Finally, allowing stereo music output in addition to the sound effects. And the stereo effect matches the direction of sound to the player location, and all with a minimal impact on the game performance. Nicola did an excellent job with the final port, meeting all of these goals and even exceeding some of them. You will find further information, including deeper details in technical blog posts on the Silicon Labs community. The hardware designs and software are available from a GitHub repository, and you'll find links to all of these in the video description. Thanks for watching.